All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the uh, Houdini user interface. Now that you know about data, now we're going to track back a little bit and actually do some stuff that's a little bit more easy, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're here inside the Houdini user interface, and you can see this is the um, yeah this is this is the work area. This is our three D space, and uh, this over here will be our network view, and then we have our parameter view. So. Then the, basically the network views where we're going to do our work and the parameter views where we're going to um, see parameters of our objects. But first, let's 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 look at this at this uh, view over here. Let's make an object and then let's talk about how we can navigate around this object. So Houdini has shelf tools. So they, those are the things on top here. Shelf tools are basically a little preset that can create certain things. They can create single objects or they can create entire networks containing presets for certain effects, for example. So if you if you go to the create tab on here, you can see a box. And if I click it, you can see I get I get I get to point where I want to uh, place my box. So if I click again, it will create a box and you can see a box appear in my um, well in my in my in my work area over here. Let me delete it again. If I, because if I hold control and then click it, it's gonna make it in the center, and that's probably what we want to do. So let's let's create a box in the center, and then maybe we want to navigate around this. So what you can do is you can hold Alt or Space, and you can drag. And you can see we're now rotating around our box. So just like, and I've, if I do Alt, it's it's gonna be the same. And if I hold uh, if I do Alt and then middle mouse, I can sort of just pan around it like like this. And if I scroll with my mouse wheel, you can see I can zoom in and out. Now let's say if I accidentally move my like move my viewport around here, and now I'm now my box is lost. What I can do is I can select the box over here, then move my mouse into the viewport, and then press Space and F. And it will basically say F for focus, easy to remember. You're going to focus on the object, and now we're back on the object, and we're rotating it around it. Now let's say we want to rotate around a specific part of the object. What we can do is we're going to space and Z, and then we're going to be able to rotate around the, the part that we had our mouse at when we, when we did that space and Z. And now you can see that we can rotate around that part, and now space and F, and now I'm looking at the, uh, now I'm focusing on the actual uh, box again. So that's basically the uh, the uh, camera controls. Now let's, let's look a little bit about how we can move our actual object around. All right, so as you can see, our box has these controls over here. If you don't see them, uh, maybe you clicked well, uh, like next to it and, and they disappeared. If you press S on the keyboard, you can select your object. And if you press enter, then, you, then the controls appear. Um, you can also, if you select it, you can also press this thing over here. And then the same thing will, will also happen. Should happen at least. Yeah, there we go. Um, so you get these controls. And with these controls, you can move your box side to side. You can rotate it. And also with the E, R, and T keys on your keyboard, you can do these things individually. So I can individually scale, rotate, and translate. So E, R, T. And then uh, if you look over here on the right to your uh, parameters, so if you right click, you can see we're in the parameter view. Um, these parameters will change. So if I move it, you can see the translation changes. You can also do that, do that uh, directly in here. So if I were to type zero on here, you can see it moved. So if I put zero, 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 you can see it moves back to the center. What I can also do is I can middle mouse click inside of one of these things and I get this box and it allows me to drag. And I can say how, mu how much I want to increment uh, it by, by well, hovering over well, the, in the increment basically. You can also increment all of the channels at once by doing it over here. So on the actual thing, so middle mouse, and then you can see I can move all of these at once. So let's, uh, let's do it with once. You can see now I'm ro rotating everything at once. And 
I can also type stuff in and just zero everything out like that. I don't probably don't want to zero out the scale, but so that's basically changing the parameters on this object. So that's how you can translate and uh, move an object. So let's make a couple of more objects in our view. And if you wanna, like if you have a dis like unselected, you wanna select it again, like by selecting the node, the parameters will appear. For example, if I make some more objects now, like let's make a torus, let's move this over here. By clicking on these in the, uh, well, in our, in, our, in our work area, so on the box, on the torus, you can see, you can see the parameters changing because these are are the parameters for those specific objects. Let's make a, for example, if I make a grid, you can see I have I have a grid. Objects, so uh, one by one. So these objects are actually containers for stuff that's inside here. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on over there. Thank you.